Hey guys, it's Devin. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another product review video for you, this time on face washes. So finding a good face wash can be a little overwhelming. I'm just going to show you guys and explain a little bit about what I've been using, what has been working for me and what hasn't been working for me. My skin is super sensitive, so I can't use anything that you find at a drugstore. I'm acne prone, I'm oily, and I have a little bit of redness. So I'm just going to jump right into it with my first face wash, which is Tatcha. This is the Deep Cleanse. Um, it says, clarifying Japanese loof of fruit extract for normal to oily skin. So this product is a clean at Sephora product, which means it's free of parabens, um, any synthetic ingredients, they list like 50 different ones. So this is more of a clean brand in general, and this face wash is clean at Sephora. So I really liked it, it smelled really good, it wasn't too fragrant, which some of this brand's um, products can be. It has little kind of um, deep cleansing balls in it. They aren't really micro beads. They're just kind of a little bit of an exfoliation, but you still can use this every day. For me, I'm a little too sensitive to use every day, so this is a good like few times a week, maybe every other day, just at night. Uh, if you have sensitive skin, I probably would say you could use this, but not every day. I get really sensitive kind of around my nose, and that's where I was getting some sensitivities when I was using this every day. But other than that, I really love it. It was super great. I took this to Coachella last year, and when my skin was full of sand from being out the desert it really just totally exfoliated all of it away it's a really good face wash after that I have drunk elephant this is the bestie number nine jelly cleanser it says cantaloupe the fragrant fragrance isn't too strong though it's really light um, and it says, a healthy skin starts with a pH balance cleanse. I'm not going to read all of it, you guys can, but I like it. I feel like they've changed their formula in the past year or so. So if you used this back in the day, maybe when it first came out, it's a little different than it used to be. But with that being said, I still really like it. Um, this is another clean at Sephora brand. It's, some of their products are a little pricey, but I like that they're all clean and they're really low fragrant. This works really good. Um, it's not as deep of a cleanse like the Tatcha, but it does get a lot of makeup off. I would say if you don't double cleanse, this might not get all your makeup off, but it is really gentle to use on your eye area. I always double cleanse, so for me, this gets the job done. It's just a really good, like, light face wash, good for sensitive skin, um, but still has some makeup removing power. So after that is The Ordinary. I was pretty stoked when they came out with a face wash. All their products are really, really inexpensive. This size was $7.90, um, but there is a bigger size. This is kind of small, I feel like, for $7.90. I was disappointed. So. It is a face cleanser and makeup remover, it says. It really had no makeup removing power for me. Even if I double cleanse and then use this after, I feel like it didn't really get the job done. The product itself is just really more of a lotion base product, so maybe if you're someone that likes kind of Cetaphil or something like that, this might be a good switch for you. Um, yeah, disappointed. I definitely wouldn't use it again. I didn't really like it. It didn't do much for me. It didn't really get any of my makeup off, even, again, if I double cleanse. There wasn't a big smell. It was pretty low on the fragrance, but it just kind of missed the mark. After that, I'm going to show you Laneige. So this is one of my favorite brands. Almost all of their products are paraben-free. This uh, specific face wash is the mini pore double clearing cleansing foam for all skin um, like the touch it has little beads in it but the more you wash 
and kind of rub, um, the little beads go away. So that's kind of cool. It definitely gets rid of makeup. Again, I double cleanse, so it definitely gets the job done. If you don't double cleanse, I would say it still is going to work pretty good. It's going to get a lot of your makeup off. And it's not too strong on your eye area where the Tatcha, you know, I wouldn't recommend to like remove your eye makeup with this because it is so grainy. This is kind of bigger um, balls. I don't know moisture capsules. Bigger moisture capsules that um, once you kind of dispense the product and it goes away and lathers up better so you're not rubbing kind of like that grainy sandy feeling over your eyes. So this is not at Sephora but it is on Laneige's website and you do get a lot of free samples if you purchase from Laneige so that's kind of cool but I definitely would keep using this again. Um, it smells really good. It's really light, almost almost a uh, fruity smell, but not too strong, like maybe apples or pears or something. It does say in here it has capsules of bamboo sap, green tea leaf, and lotus flower extract. So that's kind of what it smells like. I'd say like a uh, florally notes, kind of fruity, but very soft, not a lot of perfume like some of their other products. Uh, some of their some of the, their stuff can get a little too fragrant for me, but this one, it was good. I could definitely use it. Um, after that, I'm going to talk about Caudalie. Caudalie? I don't know. But I love this face wash. Hands down, my favorite face wash. I've repurchased this multiple times. This is another uh, Clean at Sephora. It says on here, 0% parabens, uh, mineral sulfate. Blah, blah blah. I also think it's not tested on animals. Um, I usually don't like mousse instant foaming cleansers. It usually doesn't do anything for me, but this is probably the first face wash of any kind, whether it be a foaming or non-foaming, that I really felt a difference with my skin. Uh, again, like I said, I double cleanse, so this doesn't have the best makeup removing power if you're not double cleansing. If you are double cleansing, it definitely gets rid of all of your makeup. But for me, it just made my skin feel so soft after. I felt like I've never had a face wash that I use that I could feel a difference. Like I can feel a difference when I use this. My skin just feels tighter, smoother. I feel like it gets rid of all my blackheads. I just feel like I can see a difference, my redness goes away, I'm not as red as I usually am. Overall, this is definitely one of my favorite face washes I've ever used. I always just keep coming back to it. The smell is just really light also, it's not too fragrant. Um, I'm excited to use more of their products and see if other things work as well as this worked for me, but this is definitely my go-to. I've this is probably my fourth or fifth bottle I've purchased. That's how much I really like this. I just keep coming back to it. <laughs> Love it. So definitely I would try this face wash. They have a few other ones, but I just keep coming back to this because I just see the best results with it. My skin feels smoother, softer, and I love it. After that, I tried Glow Recipe Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser Makeup Erasing Deep Cleansing. So this was disappointing for me because I had an allergic reaction to it. It was a very mild allergic reaction. This is a clean at Sephora product, so I'm not sure if it was the AHAs that were just too much for me. Um, I usually can use glycolic so and lactic acid, so I was a little surprised, but this was awesome besides that. I feel like it definitely got rid of all my makeup. I tried to use it without double cleansing first and I still feel like it got rid of all my makeup. Um, my, my skin felt kind of similar to the Caudalie, just really smooth. I feel like all my blackheads were gone. I feel like my pores felt tighter, but then my, my face was just like super hot. Like when I went to sleep, I could just feel it. It was kind of irritated. Again, like around my nose, I get irritated, but it was kind of just my whole face just, it was like hot to touch. So 
I definitely can't use this, but I would recommend it if your skin's not sensitive, like mine. Maybe if you're not quite as sensitive. Um, I'm allergic to salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide, so there's a lot of things that I can't use, a lot of things I'm not sure what I'm allergic to. Sometimes fragrance and different stuff. But if you don't have sensitivities, I would recommend trying this. It worked really awesome and I really liked it, but unfortunately, not for me. So, after that, oh, I have Pora. So, this is created actually by Miranda Kerr. I had no idea. I just thought the packaging was super cute and it was another clean at Sephora, not tested on animals, all that good stuff. Um, this is a sensitive skin gentle cleanser. It has chamomile, avocado oil, I think it had coconut oil too. Um, this was a miss for me just because I don't feel like it was enough. It really does ha it has no makeup removing power, like none. Even if I double cleanse and then use this, I feel like I still have to get some more, you know, makeup wipes to get my eye makeup off. Even I felt like the foundation was still kind of in my pores with it. So other than that, I it wasn't bad. It was more of a lotion -y type. So again, like maybe if you use Cetaphil and you want to switch to something more organic and natural, this would be for you. Um, it smells good. It's a light kind of coconutty smell. Um, but yeah, for me, it just it wasn't good. If you have very, very, very sensitive skin, this might be good for you. I tried to use it like after I worked out because I don't work out with makeup, thinking maybe it will just be enough to clean my face. But I felt like since I'm already on the oily side, it kind of left a little bit of a residue. My face kind of felt greasy, which I think is the coconut oil. So kind of disappointing because I do like that it's all natural and clean and the packaging is really cute. Uh, I love the color. The box it came in was really cute. But this specific one, not for me. Maybe if you have really dry skin and you don't wear makeup and you're just really natural. Again, maybe if you set a fill and you want to switch to something more organic, this is for you. But for me, it kind of was a miss. So, that's that. A little disappointed. But, the last face wash is Zo Skin Health by Obagi MD. So, if you've ever used Obagi, this is the hydrating cleanser normal to dry skin. Um, I used to use this back in the day a lot. The two owners or two doctors of Obagi split, so things are a little bit different now. And this wasn't as good as I remember. I remember this is like the only thing I could use. It really helped with like my oil and my acne, but it just didn't feel the same. I was really disappointed. Um, I don't have the box or anything, so it really doesn't say much. I'm not sure if it's paraben-free at all. It, it probably isn't. That would be my guess. But other than that, it's very creamy. It, it really soaps up pretty good, I guess, which maybe isn't good. You know what I mean? The smell is light. It's okay. It doesn't have any makeup removing power. Even if I double cleanse, I feel like I still kind of feel residue on my skin a little bit so I was disappointed because this was my jam back in the day but no longer I just it was a no um, I don't even know what kind of skin would be good maybe just really dry skin and again it says normal to dry skin and I said I was oily but a dermatologist did recommend this to me even though it says normal to dry but yeah, it just it didn't do much for me. I think back in the day maybe it worked, but now it doesn't. So my favorite out of the lot is definitely the Caudalie. Works amazing. It's a good foam cleanser. Like I said, it comes out already in a foam, but it's awesome. It's wonderful. I love it. After that, I would say that Tatcha the Deep Cleanse is really great. Uh, I can't use this every day, but it's a really good exfoliating wash. Laneige, love Laneige. This isn't a clean product like the Tatcha and the Caudalie is, but it is usually paraben-free, so that's cool. 
And after that, um, Drunk Elephant. This one's not my favorite. The other three probably are, but I always go back to this just because I like the smell and it's a pretty good basic face wash. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope maybe you found a face wash out of this lot of face washes that will work for you. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know what other products you want me to try. And while you're at it, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my channel, and like this video for more. So that's it for me, guys, and I will see you next time.